All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back with Red Dead Redemption. Let's go see about Sadie and probably getting John back, I think. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't... I must come, he's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. Yeah, it's gonna get hairy. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right. Okay. You know the place is surrounded by marshland. You should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Easier said Seems than done. simple enough. How many times, Marshal? <laughs> okay, bring us over. We good? Yeah, I recommend giving it a try if you have it. that watchtower. Stay low. Switch to the knife. Time to go to sleep. Okay. Come on up. How we looking, Sadie? All right. Good? Where's John? Let's see. Hey, you're in the way. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Look for John. Who do we got here? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. All right, that's two of them. John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Well, we're in the shit now, so it doesn't really matter. Keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, Mister. You know John Marsden? I. He ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. All y'all just need to keep calm. Oh, no, you don't. And this man will not die. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're so not that nice. They're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Do well and I'll put a bullet in his head for you. Yeah, Sadie's great. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Come on, keep moving. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Probably. Boy, you guys! Greetings, gentlemen. Oh, God. Okay, I've got your friend here. Now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John... Marston, right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sorry? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15. Hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go. We're going to die right All right, we got to move. <laughs> yeah, it was not uh not the best. Let's go. 
Look out on the left! Coming from the board! I didn't do it on purpose, it was the auto lock. <laughs> Move, gotta move, gotta move! Sprint! It's always something to be eaten. Why can't I move? There we go. To be eaten boot beans in the middle of a firefight. Coming here, don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. That's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind. This. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real, somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And, uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time. So, might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not.
him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I will. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. All right. We're back home. <laughs> And yeah, basically wanted dead or alive. That's that's how it goes. <laughs> All right, so I guess the only thing we really have to do is to go into Annisburg, but I want to stop the gun shop while we're there, pick up some ammo and some other stuff. How Arthur. you doing, Abigail? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind and no just be careful I don't have to be careful I have you as a friend oh okay guess I'll see you later then I guess what time is it tell me game 317 idiot Off yeah. we go. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. I hate that. Just let me keep my guns out. People are hunting me. I don't want it, man. <laughs> Just 
What is wrong with you? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. I what like were you looking for today? To buy a couple things. Ah, let me see. If I'm correct, yes, we can buy this. Lovely. Let's fix her up and That's get her a good equipped. Choice. If any part of this weapon isn't to your like, we can change it right out. Maybe the frame or the barrel. Anything really. This is an excellent weapon. Yeah, this is America, so good. <laughs> any components of this firearm you don't like. The trigger, the hammer, the barrel. Hmm. Although the thing about Rockstar games I love the you most know, is that you can just weapon, trick out basically everything you want. Engraving. What do you think? Trigger. Engravings. The room next door is available if you need one for the night. It is probably the best room in this town. And we'll go with the second one. Yeah. No, no carvings. Not a fan and change the varnish. There we go. Let's grab some ammo. Mm -hmm. Ah. Thank you, sir. Oh no, I meant am ammunition. Back. Peter cartridges. Uh huh. All right. Good to go. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang. Let's grab the rifle. I didn't check to see if that if that new repeater was out yet, but eh, we'll wait. Partner, you don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money, but revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> social call my ass. 
And yes, the beard physics are absolutely amazing. It's why I so let Arthur's what beard grow. What are gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. How much you want to bet it's gonna pop off real quick? you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! No Damn it, Dutch! If you wanted to hang the capitalists, you could have joined the Socialist Revolution over in... Or at least the movement over in Britain right now! Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here!
we go. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. How many people we gonna kill today? Cornwall's men are all over the place. Follow me and stay close. We had enough heat on us before. Now we're gonna be torched. This is the only way you'll see. Trust me. Prove it. Shut up, Micah. We got more up ahead. Clear us some space. Come on, through here. Finally put that back to Cornwall out of business for good. Do you put Dutch up to this? Me? I just follow orders, Morgan. Sure you do, Micah. What did we come for? Even try talking anything out. Social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? 
The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Where's my horse? They've utterly lost it. Come on, boy. All right. I saw a side mission nearby. Hello. Hamish. He offered for me to go hunting with him. So let's go have some fun. Oh, somebody's hunting over there. Okay. I thought somebody was threatening to eat me. <laughs> it's not like it hasn't happened already. <coughs> oh, God, excuse me. Allergy season. Go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so, what do you do? Me? Nah. No. I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer. Bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Hmm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Ooh -wee! <laughs> what have we here? She's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Going for a wolf hunt, okay. Come on. She went around on the left. Around the Sounds lake. dangerous as hell, but. On here somewhere. She's not gonna wait around. Wolf shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. <laughs> this ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, neither. Not anymore, it seems. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now. This way. <laughs> Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? Yep. Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. They still had more space to We're wander on to around. Her. Come on. Okay. Back in the 1800s, now there's even less. Damn! I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Easy. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. 
Hmm. Yep. That was her dinner. Now, where'd she get to? My guess. She's gone somewhere over there. No, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight? Oh, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. I'm right behind you, Hamish. Quick, while we got out. Through the scrub. Better to on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, boy. There's a wolf about. I got the tracks. You went in there, all right. We got a tracker. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? I got it. If you don't mind, I'd like to. Okay, get tracking. I'll be close behind you. I got the trail. This way. This way. Up and around a bit. You see anything yet? Yes, yep. tracks. Went up the hill, circled around. We heading down here? Yep. Stay close, be careful. Don't lose your leg. We don't get her. Well, what's the worst that can happen? She runs off with the chicken. Well, I'm fine with losing chickens. But I lost a leg already. And I gotta pull down my pants to shit in these woods, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna lose that. Hey, a bear. Is that the she wolf? It's a wolf. Easy. Ambush. Stay back. Stay back. Whew. Whoa. You all right? I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? Goddamn! Over here! Over here! Up. Oh shit! Damn you! Monster! Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> They brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. Thank you, friend. And if I can, I'm going to skin the rest of them, too. Wolf pelts go for a good amount. This big. Healthy. It's getting dark, jeez. Almost 
a shame we killed it. Well, it's all right. You got a lot of meat for the next couple of months there, Hamish. <laughs> Pick this one up, take it back to camp, and then we'll be, uh, red as rain. Put it up. All right, camp's right here. Reverend Swanson has a mission for us. What does he want? He just wants to speak to us. All right, hey, Michelle, see you later, buddy. Now I gotta figure out how to get down from the mountain. <laughs> oh, God. I hate jumping over things. It always makes me feel like I'm gonna collapse. Relax, boy. boy. You hungry? Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Hey, he's either. We can set up camp at the watchtower, but nobody's here. I think. Yep. Of food. Anything else? Bed? <clears throat> I can't sleep here. What's in here? Just some hunting supplies. Let's get that stuff back to camp. What? Uh. Yep. Oh, that's nice. careful because Murphy Brood always likes to corner you at night.
How close? I think yeah. we're actually pretty close. Drop this stuff off at Pearson, then take a nap, and then go see Reverend Smart. Where's the stamina stuff? Relax. No. You all right? Oh, no. You're okay. You're okay. They're gone. Get out of here while you can! Get away from me! All right, all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stuck under a pile of bodies. few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I know. Many thanks. There we go. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Oh, wait, no, wrong button. Thank you, Arthur. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things. Oh, it's not unlocked, so... Okay, I don't know why it... I reckon I'm gonna think about it. ...told me it was. Jesus, we've been up that long? Okay, I thank you so much for joining me. When we return in a couple of minutes, we will uh, we will talk to Reverend Swanson and see what's up with him. But I thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.